how do you fight Christianity and Islam? You gotta do it by thinking of them. You see, we all know that Christianity and Islam outnumber the pagans and the atheists. So physical interaction is suicidal and it actually causes more problems than good because we all know how the Christians will act. The Christians will take the attack and try to get some legislation where this particular group needs to be considered dangerous. And then they will turn the victims of any attack into martyrs. And thus it will become a propaganda nightmare if pagans or atheists were to use any form of violence. So don't. To fight Christianity and Islam, we have to use our heads. There are events in which Christians and Muslims will come out and they'll show their ugly side. Where when they think nobody's looking, they will say how much they hate. And they will do things that are what they would say on Sunday mornings is wrong. Get this information. Got a video camera? Videotape it. We have the YouTube right here. We can show Christians at their worst. We have the tools to counter their propaganda by putting up our own. You do this. And we can start showing other people that it is wrong. And there will be other pagans and other atheists that will understand. Hey, I'm not alone. They pick on others too. And they will join us. And soon we will actually have a decent power base where we can get our voices heard. And that's what this is all about. The pagans for too long have been told to stay quiet, to be strong. You see, that's wrong. Nothing changes until somebody says no. But we have been told so many times to survive we had to be quiet. Now the time has come to stop being so quiet and outthink these Abrahamics. I know the way they do things. You have the ability. You have YouTube. Let's use it.